Oh, all right. Yay. Welcome back. This is part two of, uh, of the walkthrough. Is it still nighttime? Oh, looks like I'm not fully rendered. We have our plan fixed for today. We're going to walk down um, a really special road and I'll talk to you about the project. Oh, it is daytime. Uh, I need to start this project at dawn because the road is a full day, night and day walk. And at the end of the road, we are going to do our project. Uh, it's going to be a Zen project. Don't exactly want to make a temple. I don't exactly want to make a meditation center. I want to make something of a, a library of uh, all the Zen teachings, Zen master's teachings. Only, only it's going to be recorded on. We are going home. Why are we going home? I really don't need anything from home. Uh, I need it to be daytime. I'll fix that when we get there. Um, might as well just keep going. I don't need to prepare anything. I'm pretty much walking around with my, with my nomad pack on, which you'll find out what that is in a little while. This is the back lot of fruit. Uh, nothing. Oh, uh, what else? Ah. Shit, I got lost. I'm having a little bit of problems right now. Pixelates. Alright, so this here is Alchemy Craft. And um, you take the powders. Oh, my sound's off. I don't want that. You take the powders and you mix them up and they form up other things and then you put them together and they uh what do they do they make items come on my computer's lagging the computer is lagging and we don't do editing which is the first thing i wanted to talk about but all right well while we're waiting this is my nomadic tents and uh, that's my survival gear. <laughs> and uh, this, of course, this is a, I, oh, wow. No, okay, that's what's worth, okay. I got about, well, I just use that basically as a storage. It, it's like a, a, a walking, come on. Thank you, crubbity crew. Oh, it was not, it was not daytime. It was going to be nighttime. Well, while well, it's still nighttime, this is an idea. Uh, I don't know if it's really a scrap idea. I mean, I kind of think it's too big, but it is just a bridge uh, for safe travel, and you can travel by night. And uh, you can camp out or continue traveling. Also. So, and you can get into it from the outside. I've got, I've got ladders um, on the side. So, that's one idea. I've got another road style. Also, I'm going to build a prototype somewhere. Probably here. This is a good spot for the prototype. And we are connecting to the... Oh wait, how do I describe this? Where's my market? Well, at any rate, it's at zero zero. We'll have a crossroads, and each direction has a different color. This is just a connecting road, and this portion going in this direction east. I call it Bardo Road because while I was building it, I was listening to Bardo teachings. You know, if we just keep going, we'll probably get there by tomorrow evening. And uh, oh, that's what it's I, I, I walked down here listening to all kinds of teachings. 
Well, we'll see if anything comes up. I don't think anything's going to come up, but... It's just... The, the one thing from... Oh, what was it? It was part... It was Pawa. It was a Pawa from a Tibetan temple um, in Maryland. And I did never understand what the... What the, uh, the bardo and... What the Buddhists had to say about what happens to you when you die. And, uh... That's what I listened to while I was making the road. And about the only thing I can, that's been on my mind to think to even try to talk about late, or seeing as how I knew it was coming onto this road, is uh, one of the Tibetan teachings about how important it is to be born into a human life. Like, apparently it's very rare. And when you think about that, it might be very rare, but look how many of us there are. And and looking at this is just a bit a, a little bit as I haven't done anything with it, but just connect it. And how every time you get a chance to be a human, apparently it's even rarer to get to be a human who gets to hear the Dharma. And, and, and understand, I mean, and I suppose it goes uh, even more in depth. I mean, like, you don't, you might get to hear the Dharma, but how many more times do you have to wait to be a human before you can understand it a little better? <laughs> and, uh, you know, things, things like that are uh, interesting. <laughs> Dang, you know what? I went to. Okay, hang on. We have got to turn on this volume. I don't like it so quiet. I don't want it too loud either. Uh, let's see what that does. And let's give some mod information or some mod pack information. The the you know what that's called? Texture pack is very light and. Get out of there. Oh, I guess I'm still lagging. Do to do more I get to do that? No, no, that doesn't work this time. Huh. Okay. Well, this might be a short video because if I'm just going to sit here and be lagged, which reminds me of the other point, I don't edit. I don't. That's, that's not what the feeling that I want to create here is. What I want to create here is um, an ongoing conversation about like the universe, anything, Minecraft, and being in being all lagged. Come on, man. Oh, don't. For real? Oh, man. Well, there you go. I guess it's going to be a short video. <laughs> Maybe this will be part one, um, unless there's a pause button, but it only says, it only says stop recording. It doesn't say pause. So, uh, we will continue this walk later. Have a good day. Thank you for your time. Will you let me stop recording, please? Thank you.